Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at that food. Hey! FYF Sports, man. It's Lamont, we back with another, another reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to Matisse Thibel, a uh, player on the Philadelphia 76ers. He, he has a vlog. Um, I don't know how we actually missed five episodes already. Uh, but this is episode five. I, again, he's, he's, he's letting everybody into the bubble. Uh, so we can kind of see how the NBA players are living. Uh, so today we're here with Brooke. You got anything to say? Nope, I'm just curious to see what is going on in the bubble. I am. He's such a hater. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Uh, hey, FYF Sports, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video before we get started, y'all. Um, we trying to get... I'm trying... It's. I don't know what's going on, man. Yeah, I don't know how y'all slowed up on the subscriptions or whatever. We got to get to 10K. The only way I can drop this merch is if we get to 10K. So y'all need to just go ahead and hurry up. Hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and get us to 10K. I'm going to drop this merch and then y'all be happy. All right, so today we got Welcome to the Bubble. Again, Matisse Thibel of the Philadelphia 76ers. He's doing the vlog. We're going we gonna to see what's really going on in the bubble. We got a lot of people talking about um, the accommodations, what's it really like. So we're finally going to get a, a good look at how they're eating, how they're living, and what's going on when these guys are off the court. What's the weather like today? Uh. Is this all for us? Uh, you're the 76 That's the next Eggs, please. A turkey sausage. Breakfast potatoes. <laughs> oh, we are going to talk about that. Uh, what do you think about that food? I'm, I would be happy about that. You'd be cool with that? I would be very cool with Turkey that. Turkey, sausage, eggs. I mean, it look, to me, it looks like just the standard, basic hotel breakfast wherever you go. I mean, right. not standard. I'm not going to say it's standard because not all hotels not all hotels have that type of breakfast. They probably change it up every day, too. Well, maybe not every day. They probably change it up, though. Still, like getting served breakfast every morning. Yeah, it looks more like a breakfast buffet. Like, they got a lot of options there, so... Again, it's not five star, but it, it works. It'll get the job done. And this is in Orlando. We've experienced the phase in Orlando. I thought, it well, looks... they were expensive. That's about <laughs> it. All right, y'all. Let's, um, we go again. I just want, I, I'm still curious to see the conditions. So we're going to go ahead and play this and hopefully we can get some more insight on what's going on inside of the bubble. Plus, I want to know what's going on with the 76ers because them guys is, they playing out of their mind on the court. A game day vlog idea. That's uh, some things in the work. We went from not having any silverware to having real metal forks. This is probably the slowest, rainiest day we've had in the bubble so far. Now, when they were um, when they were first quarantined, when everybody got there, uh, they didn't have like they had plastic forks and spoons because everything oh, was temporary. When okay, they got, he made so, it sound like they had no silverware at all. But see, I, I, I also think that they switched over to plastic forks and spoons so they didn't have to have extra staff in to wash dishes. Mm. Because it, again, if you if you bring real silverware in, you now you got to have people washing dishes. Hey, we're gonna stop stopping it, y'all. We're gonna let it ride, and, and again, we'll just comment on the video that we see and just let it keep flowing because I don't want to keep stopping it, y'all. It's not too bad. Today, so I think that I'm gonna try and do trying to do a yoga class or something. We'll figure out how to do they it. They got yoga in there. Come no, on, he's gonna, he's gonna do it in his room. Oh, I'm about to say. 
Can you turn the heat up? Ah, that's a good idea. That didn't look like what we normally do. I haven't taken a yoga class since quarantine started. It's good to be back. I think so really early today, man. Thank you. Hey, how, how, based on seeing how tall you think he is. Um, like 6'11". Don't he look tall? He look tall as hell, don't he? Yeah. Just because of how long he is. He's only 6'5". What? Yeah. That's crazy. But his arms is long. They said he has like a 6'11 wingspan. Oh. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. I'd really like to get off the bus. I remember those. Magic bands. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of a hyperbaric chamber, but we have one here, and I'm gonna go try it out. Hey, did you know players brought their own hyperbaric chambers with them? So some of them brought their own, but then they also provided they, they them. also provided them. So again, so we got people complaining about the accommodations, but the NBA provided these guys with hyperbaric chambers. Crazy. crazy. Now, well, you got some people who saying that the accommodations aren't good enough for NBA players. These are like common people who don't get treated like athletes saying that the accommodations aren't good enough for the NBA players. Huh. It's stupid. <laughs> a spaceship. Did you get in it? Nope. <laughs> my window to the outside. Okay, with the window maybe. Okay, it's almost full. What's it filling up with? So basically, this is like a high pressure chamber with 20, 25%. He's about to tell us what's in More oxygen than regular air, and it's supposed to help with improvements of recovery and stuff like that. I think I have to be in here for an hour, so I'll see you on the other side. Would you do that? I mean, as long as I didn't feel like I was trapped. What's up, my man? Why does this keep happening? <laughs> like, what on earth is going on in here? Two our cans are exploding like this. What? I've never seen this before. Yeah, I've never Yo. seen it. <laughs> Dang, close your mouth when you eat. <laughs> Alright, we can meet there like, I mean, we can do like 8 or something. Alright, cool. I'll see you later. Thanks. I think you'll be on time. You know, I'm always on time. Well, that's a lot. I'm gonna get some food. <laughs> Anytime the tea's around, you gotta kinda be like. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. People in the comments. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at that food. What is, does that look like bogus food? No. It looks that looks like a steak right here. This looks like steak, steak or chicken. Steak and like oh, they got mashed potatoes, green beans, and rice. Does that look like some sauteed green beans? Does that look like bogus food? Nope. Looks good to me. That looks solid to me. They talking about these NBA players ain't eating nothing. They, I mean, these is guys that probably, it's people who be microwaving their own food every night, complaining about food like this, acting like the NBA players ain't. Who's saying mm -hmm. that? Yeah, the, the usuals. 
Not the NBA players. No, 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 the usual people that I talk to every night. <laughs> they they literally complain for the NBA players. They say that the NBA players aren't eating good enough. They say that the NBA players are getting cardboard meals and all this. They they even lie and say that they watch these blogs and the food don't look good. I would feel healthy eating. Come on, man. They sound silly. People just be saying stuff. Now that I really know that now. Hold on. Hi, my name is Episode 5. You want to tell the people anything? This is behind the scenes. Episode 5. He does like stuff like. You know this is bullying, right? What's up, Bo? I have the address for. Say, how are you? What's poppin', my dude? Yo, Bobby. Bobby. Hey, Bobby. You know what to say to this guy right now. No. Say it. No. Say it. No. Say it. No. <laughs> Go by. Say it. I'm nice person. I'm not bad like you. Okay, but just say it. No. <laughs> <laughs> the 13th documentary. Because it's not taught in history. You gotta go the extra mile. Though. You have to do your own research. You gotta do your own research. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like I said, that announcement on the bus the other day, I said, all oh, y'all yeah, people, everybody saying Black Lives Matter, Black people are, even white people, you hashtagging it. Just do me a favor and watch 13th on Netflix. And I mean, Miss Kim, she came back. She was like, man, thanks for the recommendation. They was texting me all night about it. Did you watch that? The 13th on Netflix. Would I or have I? Have you? I have not watched it. It's about the prisons, about how the prisons are. I mean, if if I've watched it, you've probably watched it, so. No, I watched it. But I don't know if you, you watched, watched it. You watched it without me? I don't know. I don't remember. I just know I watched it. You challenge people to educate themselves so they can feel comfortable where you've been, what you've gone through. I think even for myself, educating myself, I have a different perspective considering I didn't grow up with the challenges that other African Americans may have. I think the whole feel for the NBA right now is we got over the hump of, oh, we're in the bubble, what's this like, what's life like? And now it's like everything we talked about going into it, all the guys are like, we don't want to just be a distraction, we want to continue this conversation of whatever needs to be reform or change or quality. Yeah, what we want to do as a team, because like we, we don't want to be here and just throw on some t-shirts and think that's getting a job done. So like we have to back something real that is going to allow us to actually see and create real change. I personally feel like as athletes and people with a platform and an audience, we have to be informed. Where y'all get in trouble, meaning the athletes, is when you go on and you start talking and you don't know what the hell you're talking about. But that comes with us educating ourselves and educating each other. So there's sort of three layers, right, that we've talked about. We've talked about the education piece. We have um, a head coach that really cares, and we have a GM that really cares, and we have a... They look like they're trying to really get some stuff done. I was kind of critical of them for this. It looks like they're really sitting down trying to get stuff done. At least the Sixers are. I know the Lakers ain't. And we definitely know the Clippers ain't. The Clippers got a player got caught going to a strip club. Hmm. And it was one of the players that was crying about the social justice stuff. Hmm. Got caught going to Magic City. They, they let him go to a funeral. Then the next thing you know, they catch him on Instagram videos at a strip club. I mean, if you're going to do it, why would you put it on Instagram, knowing you can't do it? Not only did that, he, 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 there was another famous musician at the strip club. He hops on the other famous person's Instagram live or something. Nice. Gets put out there. Mm -hmm. Hey, see, this is why I say the 76ers, Philadelphia 76ers are going to win to the, the championship this year. This is the third time I've said it on record. Philadelphia 76ers are going to win the championship this year, y'all. So, so when it happens, make sure y'all come back. And if you're not a subscriber, you got to subscribe. Because again, y'all know that I know what I'm talking about. Number of guys that are really passionate about this. Yeah. So how can we educate the team, the staff, the people around us on things that are really meaningful right now? The second layer to it is sort of the awareness piece. And I think that's kind of when the visuals come in. So you talked about t-shirts, which we can do. We can talk about some of the exterior of buildings and just messages that we feel are important. And then the third piece is the action piece. And so that's the kind of stuff that we can do in Philly, back in our cities or wherever else. So I think if we attack it from three different vantage points, education, awareness, and action, 
then we're going to come up with a really good program that will make the next three months of being in this bubble useful and productive and impactful. It was so easy to be a part of this movement from the jump. It allowed people to get involved and then want to learn more. But if it had been a little bit harder, you would have had to actually work. I don't think as many people would have tried to jump on board. I will say this though, and research is behind this. Mm -hmm. The easier the message is, the more powerful it For is. Sure. Mm -hmm. It is so hard to do this conversation justice because basically I'm trying to take what was a two hour talk and cut it down to like three or four minutes. And there's just so much information that's being missed, but I know that if it was any longer, this wouldn't be. Where, where are the Lakers at? Where are the Lakers at? But he says that. I feel like if they actually put a two hour conversation on here, people would literally, like legitimately sit down and watch yeah. it and listen. Yeah, just based off what I was hearing. More conversation. I would have sat down and listened to that whole conversation, yeah. man. I wanted to, because at least they talking about not just what type of messages they can put out. They actually talking about what they can do back in their own communities. See, that's what I don't hear from a lot of these other players, man. Like, I like what Kyrie's doing. Like, Kyrie Irving just uh, donated $1.5 million of his salary to pay uh, WNBA players a little bit more who are sitting mm -hmm. out. That's good. That's good and all. I appreciate that. But I don't think that's doing anything for some of these social issues. But even that is definitely a good cause, though, because those players do need to get paid more. There just ain't no money for them. If I'm being honest about the WNBA, they just, it just, there's no money. There, there's no money in that league to pay them. That's all. It's sad, but I mean, it's good basketball, but yeah. nobody want to see it. That's the problem. Which is crazy, because I mean, we've been to a couple WNBA games. and There were some yeah, good games, Like, though. really enjoyed it, so it's entertaining. Just the same, in a sense. All right, let's... Damn, we're only eight minutes. All right, let's finish this video out, man. I want to. I want to hear. It. This is actually kind of interesting. I actually might. I'm gonna follow him, man. I gotta <laughs> follow him because I actually like this. So I'm gonna definitely subscribe and I'm gonna keep y'all up to date with what he got going on. Something that people want to listen to, but I hope I can get the point across of us just trying to have this conversation and beginning the talks of how we can make an impact while we're here in this bubble. I mean. We'll see. I hope you guys get it. As athletes, do your homework so you're comfortable with being able to have that dialogue. People gonna come at you left and right, do your homework, that's it. You do your homework, you can talk about anything. Because at the end of the day, whatever you say anyway, somebody's gonna have something to say about it. So, all of this is what we've been talking about, and all we're trying to find is this, so we can open up the door to talk about this. But all these people need to be comfortable talking about it if we're gonna do it as a whole. What you're comfortable talking about, FERC may not be. So with that being said, all of this has to come to here and let people take their point elsewhere. We're trying to find this, brother. What about educate all? Educate each other. We went from Damn, I just messed it up. But I was just talking to some people today, and they were actually talking trash about Kyle Quinn. Let me find out where he's at. They was actually just talking trash about the man. And uh, the man is actually making some good points, man. I mean, for him to be a, a player that that doesn't get as much playing time or as much publicity as guys like Ben Simmons, uh, LeBron James, Lou Williams, J.R. Smith, Kyrie Irving. He's not getting nearly half the publicity that they getting. And this man is out here on somebody's YouTube vlog breaking down what the Philadelphia 76ers can do to affect change in their own community, man. And, and the stuff that he, even though I wish, that's why I really wish they could have played the whole two hour video. I would have really watched that. Well, and it's like, it, the more you have a conversation or the more people you have a conversation with, like your, your opinion or your idea or your reflection is gonna educate someone else in a sense so yeah like but see what he's saying is because like he had you saw on the board there he had the names of his teammates yeah it was initials but he was basically showing how different each body you know 
You have you have the coach, like he was talking about Cork Mines, one of their foreign players. Even even the guy that's filming is Matisse Thibault from France. Again, maybe he not he might not understand some of the struggles that people deal with over here in the United States. So it, it is definitely about getting educated, and then once you're educated on the topic, then we can have those conversations like he had on that board about money reparations and some of those other things again it's hard to really break those topics down if you don't understand the history and the background so i, I like i like where he's going with that that's because everything that we're saying is something that's from somebody else I, we trying to find them that's like a singular message we need a simple message. Nike says just do it. They don't say just do it because our sneakers are made with hyperbaric chambers and this out of dirt. We come up with the best technology from China and we do it. They just say just do it. <laughs> Lace your shits up and run. So what you what, what you want to say? What? That's why these simple things that could branch off and give and everybody can take the conversation. Now, somebody say, Tobias, why your shirt say educate yourself? Well, reparation, you could go wherever you want. <laughs> but, now, but let me just say something. I, I do feel like we should, as a, as a team, right, like, be using this space to have time where we do have the message, right? Educate yourself, educate us, educate each other, whatever. We should have this, and we should have maybe twice a week where we have a program, honestly, where we come together and discuss. I believe we should do this. We should do that. I, I'm, I'm down with it. That is the only way I can score, bro. Educate yourself. Educate yourself, bro. Educate yourself. See? Look how it's stuck. We got our first scrimmage today. I don't even know where I'm going. We'll figure it out. Simmons in rhythm hit himself a corner three. Well, I think that's why Taylor Jenkins saying earlier he's pretty much where he wants is Embiid again from outside knocks that one down. Joel Embiid. Sixer again. They got him from the Golden State Warriors. There goes Matisse Thibault. Well done by the rookie. Good hands and a takeaway. Tobias Harris doing it. Hey man, that almost made me. I, I actually like him more as a player now after just seeing this one. After just seeing this one uh, vlog. And that's just one of them. I mean, he came with a whole different perspective. I thought this was gonna be silly, goofy. He actually really broke it down what they do in the bubble. And he wasn't one of them players that's just sitting down playing PlayStation all day. <laughs> him and him and Kyle Quinn, they actually was sitting down having a real conversation. Again, and that's what's so crazy, because these players could be in the bubble sand and doing whatever they want in front of the camera, but these they were actually really sitting down having a real conversation about this. And like he said, it was a two-hour two hour conversation that he really couldn't even compact into his, his entire blog. So, hey, M Matisse Thibel, if you hear this, FYF Sports, man, you got to come on to the show. Hey, watch, we're going to get one of these people onto the show off this, too. That somebody's gonna see this and come on to the show. Matisse Thibel, FYF Sports. All you need is Zoom. Let us know. Hit us up. The email address is business at fyfsports.com. Hit us, send us an email. 10 to 15 minute interview where we need to break this down because I, I really appreciate this vlog. So make sure you see this video. Make sure you take down our information and hit us up by email because we need you on the show. You got anything, man? No? You're supposed to you supposed to say something. Well I said it during the video. No, you're supposed to help con conclude the video. Now you gotta now you gotta <laughs> You're the concluder. <laughs> no, now you gotta be a um a showman. A showwoman. Alright y'all. 
Hey, make sure you make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell again. It's a grind into 10k, dude. That's the next goal. Um, 10k, 10k comes. I'm telling you right now about the merch, man. The merch is gonna surprise you. I can't reveal any details now, but when we get to 10k and you guys see the merch, we're gonna drop a merch video, and then we're gonna be able to display the merch on the channel. So whenever you subscribe and you come to the channel, you can buy the merch. I might drop a few coupon codes so you can get discounted pricing. But again, you guys are gonna love this merch that we got coming out. But it's FYL Sports, man. And yeah, we out.